Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the, the relationship between pressure and elevation, okay? And this elevation you can refer as a height of the fluid or the head when we are talking about the pumps, right? Okay, so let's start the video. So simply see, in a static fluid, okay, when we talk about the static fluid, what is the meaning of static fluid? It means that a body of fluid at rest. When your body of fluid at rest, it means that it is a static fluid, right? So, in a static fluid, the pressure difference that is delta P between any two points, okay? What is the meaning of this? So, simply see this, let's suppose this is your point 1 and this is your point 2, okay? So, the difference between any two points, two points means 1 and 2, right? 1 and 2 is indirectly proportional to the vertical distance between the points, okay? It means that it is, means your delta P is directly proportional to the H and H is the height, okay? Because, see, simply see here, is indirectly proportional to the vertical distance between the between the points between the points means 1 and 2 okay so height is this one from here to here okay the h which i have already denoted from here okay i hope you understood this so from here the formula is p is equal to rho into g into h i hope you have heard about this formula that is p is a your pressure mainly here as i am talking about the static fluid so this is your static pressure rho is density okay g is your acceleration due to gravity and h is the height of the fluid right okay fine in the case of water this density will be your thousand okay kg per cubic meter now, this is the relationship. So, simply see here, if I, I am talking about the fluid, okay, and like at any particular temperature, the density will be constant, okay. So, this pressure will be vary with this height, right, from the above definition. Now, the same vertical height, let's suppose the same vertical height means H, will give the same pressure same pressure means let's suppose the delta p that pressure difference okay regardless of the pipe configuration in between what is the meaning of this simply see if the height is same between point 1 and 2 1 and 2 1 and 2 1 and 2 if the height is same simply see the height is h here the height is h here and the height is h here between point 1 and 2. So, the pressure will be also the delta P you can say or the only static pressure you can say it will be also same. Okay. Here regardless of the piping configuration. Right. I hope you understood this point what I want to say. Okay. Now, what is the significance of uh, this? Okay. So, whenever you are dealing with the piping, whenever you are dealing with the hydraulics, whenever you are doing like some calculation with respect to your centrifugal pumps or with respect to your pumps so it will help you okay so this is your one formula okay there is also another formula which you can use to find out the static pressure that is p is equal to h okay into specific gravity divided by 10 okay this formula you will use when your head is in meter right okay and when your head is in fit then the formula which you can use ft means fit into specific gravity what is the unit of the specific gravity please let me in the comments box divided by 2.31 okay and what will be the unit of pressure here psi and here bar Okay, now see here, if there is one pump, okay, and that pump is capable of delivering 45 meter head, 
right from one location to another location now it will produce different pressures for different fluids okay simply see if there is one pump that has a head 45 meter so that pump will produce different pressures for fluids of different specific gravities if you will change the fluid obviously its specific gravity is going to change because its density will be changed right so when the density will be changed your specific gravity will change okay what is the meaning of this so simply see here see there is three case but the head is constant means head is there is a one pump which will deliver 45 meter head right so your head is constant here so now what is here to understand see this is the pump which will deliver 45 meter head but here is the fluid is water and the specific gravity is 1 so in this case what will be the pressure so that will be 45 into 1 divided by 10 means your 4.5 right okay now in this case see the head is 45 okay so p is equal to 45 but here the specific gravity is 1.4 divided by 10 right and in this case see p is equal to 45 but specific gravity is 0 0.7 because that is solvent and divided by 10 so here it will be 6.3 and here it will be 3.15 okay and the the unit will be bar i hope you are able to understand what i want to say what i want to say basically there is one pump which head is constant right head is 45 meter now what you are doing you are changing the fluid okay and when you will change the fluid so density will be changed or its specific gravity will be changed right so that's why the pressure will be changed that's why this pressure will be changed now please let me in the comments box if there is one pump that is capable of delivering 3.7 bar pressure okay what will be the head that pump will develop for specific gravity 1 specific gravity 1.4 and specific gravity 0.7 scenario okay there are three scenario for water slurry and solvent now what will be the head when that pump is generating 3.7 bar pressure i hope you are able to understand my point what i want to ask okay please let me in the comments box now the overall conclusion of this video is that see if you understand the basic of the static pressure okay that is rho into g into h and from this formula also you can find out the your static pressure okay and head also you can find out if you know the static pressure one thing the second thing is that the basic relationship between the pressure and elevation or pressure and head that is also very very important when you are dealing with the pumps second we discussed about the when there is a one pump that is capable of delivering any particular head so the pressure could be changed when you will change the fluid because the density will be changed now i ask you one question that if that pump is delivering constant pressure that is 3.7 so what will be the impact on the head when you will change the fluid please let me in the comments box i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you